In this video, I'll walk you through how to make Siri more useful on your iPhone, and it will also work on your iPad by allowing it to use ChatGPT to handle complex requests. Apple has partnered with OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, to integrate it into Siri and other Apple intelligence features like writing tools and visual intelligence. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Let's start with the devices that support Apple intelligence. The list is limited to the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, the entire iPhone 16 series, the new iPad mini, and any iPad that uses the Apple Silicon chips, either the M1, M2, M3, or M4. They also need to be running the latest iOS and iPadOS. To set up ChatGPT with Siri, follow these steps to check the status of ChatGPT for your Siri requests. We'll go ahead and we'll open up the settings app. And then you're going to go ahead and tap on Apple Intelligence and Siri. Be sure that Apple Intelligence is toggled on. And now we're going to scroll down until we see ChatGPT under extensions. And we're going to tap on that. If use chat gpt isn't toggled on you'll go ahead and turn that on and you'll follow the setup instructions once you have that done if you have a chat gpt account and i do you can go ahead and set that up underneath where it says chat gpt account and this will allow you to sign into your own ChatGPT account. You'll see a daily limit below if you're using a free account or using Apple's integration. You'll also see the option to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus, which is a paid service. Once you have this all set up, you'll be ready to use Siri with ChatGPT. Now, when you ask a complex question that the Apple lady can handle on her own, she will prompt you to use ChatGPT. Let me show you how this works. Hey Siri, write me a poem about spring. You'll see the prompt pops up. I'll go ahead and I'll tap on Use Chat GPT. The answer will process and it will be displayed directly on uh, the interface of the screen. And you can go through and make, you can, you know, check it for important mistakes. You can copy it by using the little uh, copy icon in the upper right hand corner and paste it anywhere you want. But that's how you get a prompt on your screen if you ask a complex question. You can also ask Siri to ask ChatGPT directly. In this case, you won't see the prompt, but it will automatically use ChatGPT. So let's do that. Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to create a five course meal using beef, chicken, and shrimp. So now it's working in the background and now it displays the answer on your screen. So that's how to use ChatGPT directly with Siri. One thing to note is that ChatGPT will work even if you use type to Siri instead of speaking. Even though Apple has its own image generation tools like Genmoji, Image Playground, and Image Wand, you can still use ChatGPT to generate images. 
and it works with a wide range of commands and generally produces better results. So let's, let's create an image. Hey Siri, use ChatGPT to create an image of a cat driving a car wearing a top hat. So there's your image, and if you're happy with it, you can tap on the download button in the upper right corner to save it to your Photos app. You can also, if you ask Siri to generate an image using ChatGPT while inside the Messages app, the message will be inserted into the typing box so that you can send it with one tap. If you want to get info about what's on your screen, you can ask ChatGPT to take a screenshot and explain what it is. So I'll just say, hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to take a screenshot and explain what it is. I can send that screenshot to ChatGPT. It'll put it into the background and it'll place it right on the screen when it's finished. So you can have ChatGPT work with the text on your screen. You can even open a document or note on your iPhone or iPad and ask ChatGPT to summarize the text or rewrite it. If you wanna save what ChatGPT has generated, tap on the copy button in the upper right corner, and then you can paste that into the notes app and save a copy of that information. Now that I've saved a copy of the information, I can go ahead and open the Notes app, tap on a new note, push and hold on the cursor, tap on paste, and now that information has become a note. There is a certain number of times that you can use ChatGPT per day, and you may exceed the limit, you can continue to use the service, but it will be processed using their basic version of ChatGPT. Most people won't even notice a difference. If you're concerned about privacy aspects of using ChatGPT, your iPhone or iPad only sends your request to ChatGPT without sharing information about your Apple account. Your IP address won't be shared, but your general location is provided to prevent fraud and comply with legal regulations. You can go a step further if you want to, to protect your privacy. To do that, you'll need to download the ChatGPT app, which I have on my iPhone. Open it. Tap on the two lines in the upper left corner. Tap on your name at the bottom. Locate data controls and then toggle off the switch that says improve the model for everyone. If you don't want to use ChatGPT with Siri, writing tools or visual intelligence due to your privacy concern, Simply turn off the Use ChatGPT switch in iOS settings. I'll show you where that is again. You open Settings. You'll scroll until you see Apple Intelligence and Siri. Tap on that. Scroll down until you see ChatGPT under Extensions. And then just go ahead and toggle that switch off. By integrating ChatGPT into Siri, Apple has significantly expanded its capabilities, allowing users to handle more complex requests, generate images, and interact with on-screen content in new ways. Setting up and using ChatGPT with Siri is straightforward with options to customize privacy settings and control usage. While there are limits to the free service, most users will find the integration seamless and beneficial. If privacy is a concern, Apple provides easy ways to disable ChatGPT. Ultimately, this new feature enhances Siri's usefulness, making it a more powerful assistant for iPhone and iPad users. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.